Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a proxy server using Squid Proxy Cache on Windows Server running on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Squid Proxy. So from this product page, simply click on continue to subscribe. And then from this subscription page, click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Now once the validation is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, simply choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine and then click on continue to launch. And then you would be redirected to this website on which you get two options to launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. In this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm just going to call it as proxy server. After that, make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the instance type according to your requirement. And then choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we will be using to connect to the RDP connection of our virtual machine. And then you can basically leave the network settings as default. Once you're satisfied, simply click on launch instance and then wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. For that, simply click on view all instances and then right click on your virtual machine name and then click on connect. And from this tab, you're going to select RDP client. Now from this RDP client tab, we want to get the password to log in to your RDP connection. For that, simply click on get password and then you need to browse to your key pair. So browse the key pair and once you're done, simply click on decrypt password. And now you would have the public DNS, the username and the password to connect to your virtual machine. So all you need to do is click windows and type in remote desktop connection and then copy this public DNS and paste it inside this field. Click on show more options and type the username as administrator and click on connect. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So copy this password and paste it inside this field and click on OK. And then it is going to prompt you that you're trying to connect to a remote desktop connection. So click on yes. And then wait for the connection to be established and then also for the Windows Server to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you want to enable the Squid Server Tray icon. For that, simply click on this button right here. For that, simply click on this icon on the desktop. After that, you want to click on this arrowhead and then right click on the Squid for Windows icon. And then click on Open Squid Configuration. Now in this configuration file, we can configure our proxy server. So ACL stands for access control list. Now this local net is actually a group name for all of these IPs. You can enable or disable all of these IP by simply disabling this group name. Or if you want to disable a certain IP, then you can simply put a hash symbol at the start of its line. And if you want to allow a new user to access this squid proxy server, what you need to do is that you need to type in ACL and then local net and then SRC which stands for source and then followed up by the IP address of your client. So in my case, I've pasted the IP address over here. Once that is done, if you have given a separate group name than local net, you want to make sure that particular group is allowed access. For that, scroll down and make sure that these lines include the one with your group name. So to add the group name, simply type in HTTP underscore access space allow space your group name. But since I have used the group name as local net, I do not need to worry about adding this line. And after that, you want to save this configuration file, exit from it, and then restart the service of squid. For that, come to the tray icon, right click on it and stop squid service. And then once more, come to the tray icon, right click on it and start the squid service. Once that is done, the next step is to actually configure the client's machine. For that, open up the proxy settings and in here you want to turn this option on which says use a proxy server. And for the address, you are going to provide the IP address of your virtual machine. So to get the IP address, head back to EC2 management console and click on instances. And then click on your virtual machine 
and copy this public IPv4 address and paste it inside this address field. And make sure that the port number is set to 3128. After that, simply click on save and you're all done. Now this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Squid's proxy server on Amazon. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.